afternoon, Claire. Thanks very much for inviting me here to lovely Warwickshire. So you're Claire Holland. I am Claire Holland. You yes. are. You are just setting up as a family litigation business. Right. Can you tell us a little bit about your story and how you reached this point? Um, it's been a long, long um, road for me. Um, I started in the law when I was 17, which was a long time ago. I uh, started off as a legal secretary um, and then was given the opportunity to, um, to undertake a side ex examination. And I, I never thought that I'd be in this position whereby I'm opening my own company. So I'm ecstatic at the moment. <laughs> Good. Good. And what does your new company offer? What kind of services? Um, my new company will be called Holland Family Law. Yep. Uh, we specialise in family law. Um, we specialise in divorces, uh, finances, children and the, the, the normal services that a family law department would, would offer. Okay. So you started off as a legal secretary and then became presumably a fee, a fee earner? I certainly did, yes. Okay. Yes. And working as a fee earner for a number of years for different practices? I've, I've worked for several solicitors firms in Leicester um, and the surrounding areas and developed my skills and my experience in family law. Um, and yes, and decided two years ago when it was announced at the, the Silex Roadshow um, in Leicester that we could set up our own firms as litigators, um, I decided that, that this was for me. Great. Um, so what would you say have been the learning points along the way? Because you've sort of been having dialogue with Silex and Silex regulation for the last 12 months or so. What have been the high points and the low points? Um, the high points um, is that, I mean, certainly when Giles Probert was um, allocated to, to assist me, he has been a huge support to me. Um, and certainly when I've been suffering the low points, uh, when, when I'm thinking, gosh, you know, there was, there was one occasion where um, I said to my husband, I, I don't know whether I can do this. And my husband has been absolutely brilliant. He believes in me. And been supporting me um, and said that you can do it and, and so is Giles so um, that the support from Silex has been brilliant. Um, and if you were going to start again um, what would you say, say it was me thinking about shall I set up on my business uh, on my own, what learning would you tell me to think about things differently or perhaps plan more in advance or was everything I easy think, peasy? I think for me, I broke it down into small chunks. Um, there's a lot of work to do. Um, however, I broke it down, you know, office manual and all the different assessments that I had to, to go through um, and took one step at a time. Um, but you do have to be dedicated. Uh, it, it, it is hard work. Yeah but hopefully you get there in the end. Okay, and when does your business officially launch or open? Um, I officially launched my business on the 1st of August. I'm just serving my notice of my current employment at the moment. Um, but yes, my website will go live on the 1st of August, and yes, my doors will be open to new clients. Great, so you've got premises? You've I have, I've got premises in Weston. Um, I've just got a little office and a reception area for my clients. Um, so yes, all, all go on the 1st of August. Good, well we wish you every success and uh, we'd really love to come back and see you in six months time uh, and talk to you again and find out what's been going really well for you and just any of the sort of pearls of wisdom you might want to share six months into running your own business. Yes, that'd be a pleasure. Okay, thanks for your time Claire. Thank you. Thanks for talking to us.